Hello, happy Thursday. This is Anita Coppins with Dynamic Page Solutions, and we're going to uh, talk about new ideas in blogging, uh, what's going on, and what is um, getting interest and notice on the web. Um, so we're going to talk about some things that you may not have heard about or you may be curious about, you've seen other people use or uh, other people taking advantage of online. Um, maybe you didn't know what it was or how people did that. And we're also going to be talking about some uh, some older uh, aspects as well, but you know, tried and true methods. So <clears throat> uh, if you have questions um, during the webinar, uh, feel free to pose any questions in chat and um, I will answer them uh, throughout the webinar. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. So what uh, do Twinkies and vlogging have to do with one another? Well, what I was trying, the point that I was trying to make there was just kind of staying relevant and paying attention to current events and um, seeing um, how you can utilize trends uh, to bridge topics um, as best as you can into real estate because you know everybody is uh, more likely to click through on a blog especially if it's you know something that everybody's been hearing about a lot lately now um, certainly you know Twinkies that's uh, about that was a couple of months ago you know everybody was you know very upset about uh, you know Twinkies perhaps uh, no longer being made and you know you might have heard a lot of people putting them on eBay and you know asking ridiculous prices for it so um, I just wanted to kind of like point that out and how you can um, sometimes ride trends you know and it's up to you if you want to stay on you know the safe side you know politics religion gun control, things like that can, you know, you might have an opinion about it, but I don't know if you want to work it into your, uh, uh, you know, real estate marketing, but, you know, certainly that's up to you. And, you know, those are always hot button topics. So um, I just wanted to kind of point out one of the tools that you could possibly use for searching trends is uh, uh, a feature on Google called trends. So you can also look for uh, um, hot searches on Google to see what people are talking about and see if there's anything that you can work into um, any of your blogging or marketing efforts. Um, also, you know, people enjoy uh, personality in blogs um, and marketing, you know, I do certainly so that's just something to take a look at. Not everything's going to be relevant. You have to take things with a grain of salt. You have to uh, uh, decide which uh, you know topics would be appropriate for you yourself. So you know, there's also there's a lot of other um, resources out there uh, to keep you abreast of what is happening in uh, the world, um, certainly, and then also you know re in real estate. Uh, circles. So uh, these are some of my favorite Google insights. Uh, it's related to Google trends, what we just took a look at. And um, that is something that, you know, you can Google from time to time, just explore uh, what that has to, that feature has to offer uh, for, you know, kind of staying relevant. Now, obviously Inman news, we all know that that is, you know, an excellent, probably, you know, one of the best resources out there to, you know, find out what's going on in the real estate world. Um, a lot of people are interested, you know, not just realtors uh, in what is going on in real estate. And so I think Inman News is an excellent uh, resource. Uh, if you're not like subscribing to Inman News to come into your, you know, your mailbox or your phone, um, I'd suggest you do that because it's a, you really can stay um, on top of what's going on. Um, RE Technology is another resource on the web. Then they feature, you know, much of, uh, you know, kind of the same topics as Inman News. Um, AG Beat is another one. Um, they're very, you know, relevant and up with the times. Uh, Riz Media as well. Uh, they have very interesting um, articles on there. Uh, I think most of their articles are, you know, from people that it's like a paid advertisement, but certainly it has to be uh, something that is, you know, uh, relevant and people want to read. Um, it can't be just, you know, an, an overt advertisement. Um, I use Yahoo Homes. I look on Yahoo Homes just to see they, a lot of times they have like kind of quirky uh, articles or, you know, a lot of pictures. It just kind of gives you a lot of ideas of, you know, it, essentially, if you're, you know, if you're constantly looking, um, ideas come to you of what, you know, what to talk about next time in a blog or, you know, any of marketing efforts. Um, 
Twitter is also, I know a lot, a lot of people aren't on Twitter, um, but, you know, Twitter is really a great resource uh, to find, you know, what is going on out there and um, to get different ideas, different takes on uh, the, you know, maybe the same story that you've heard someplace else. So in Twitter, in their search function, you can just use hashtag real estate, one word, it's all all smooshed together and um, see what you know people are talking about and literally uh, um, it's a constant barrage of what people are saying about real estate so uh, very little of it is stale uh, Google Plus uh, is coming up to be a really great resource uh, for myself and my marketing efforts just learning what is going on in the real estate community what Realtors are concerned about um, and there's there's uh, Google Plus, you know, I've talked about it before. It's extraordinarily important um, because it's, you know, Google's playground. So why wouldn't you be involved in if you have a real estate website and marketing, you're marketing on the web. Uh, Google Plus is definitely something to get involved with now. Um, and Google Alerts, uh, that is another feature by Google that you can set specific uh, terms in Google Alerts to come to your email and uh, you essentially choose the keywords that you're interested in. So in Google Alerts, I wouldn't go as broad as real estate because you could potentially get into your inbox any mention of real estate on the web. Um, so that you might want to narrow it down a little bit, put, you know, real estate uh, trends in quotes or real estate and your uh, state, um, something like that to really narrow down what would be coming to your to your inbox and, you know, anything else that uh, you're interested in as far as like, you know, communities that you market or, um, you know, architecture, anything like that, that uh, might give you um, some new ideas. So <clears throat> you may have noticed, uh, you know, recently in social media and uh, er basically everywhere, we've really become a visual society. And uh, I don't know if you are familiar with these, but these are memes and they're extraordinarily popular. And uh, I struggle a lot of times coming up with, uh, you know, graphical elements um, in my marketing for blogs because nobody's interested in reading just a block of text anymore. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to uh, take all of that in. So, you know, it's a lot more helpful to break it up with some sort of graphics and, you know, graphics, again, it's a tough, a tough thing to fulfill uh, your need for graphics unless you're, you know, out and, you know, taking pictures all the time and, you know, that and you're really a, a, a good photographer. So this is a meme generator. Um, it's online. It's free. Um, you can create your own meme um, if you'd like. And essentially a meme is just a picture with uh, the functionality of adding uh specific text to it um as far as this is concerned they all there's also a lot of memes that are created by other people that you know you can i didn't create any of these other than uh the uh um older woman on the left kind of you know teasing about you know memes um and just getting to know what they're what they are uh, so that is something it's free um there's also know your meme it's another website that really uh, talks a lot about what is trendy what is fun on the web so um at the end of this uh closer to the end of the webinar i'm going to go over using uh, a couple of these resources that i'm going to be talking about so um you can kind of see how they work infographics um these are kind of exploding all over instagram i've seen those on instagram mostly but i see them kind of leaking into the uh uh blogging world as well and again this is a, a graphic to kind of just break up what uh you know might otherwise just be a block of tech. So this, I actually created this uh, infograph I created. It's free. Uh, it took me about 15 minutes. Um, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it because it's just the example here, but it's all about, you know, blogging ideas. And it's a, it's a lot more interesting to look at than again, a block of text. And it's all about the click through. It's all about, uh, you know, getting the attention, the potential attention of a reader. And while I was doing that research, I actually came across this, uh, these stats, which I think are uh, really cool. So if you're, you know, kind of on the fence about blogging more often, um, this is, uh, you know, uh, stats from HubSpot. They're very reputable. So the uh, 
<clears throat> the uh, incentive to blog, you know, should be right there in those numbers and getting uh, website visitors compared to people that don't blog. So these, these are a couple of uh, online resources for infograms, and um, they most of them are free to use, a free trial, or they have like a uh, limited use, uh, but it's a, a free subscription. And, you know, along with free, sometimes they're a little bit buggy, but, uh, you know, I have I had you know a really good experience creating the, the infogram yesterday. So uh, those are three resources. Write them down, and we're going to go check out one here at the end of the webinar. Morg file is one of my absolute favorite resources of all time. For it's a, kind of like my big secret um, in finding uh, pictures out there on the web. It is. I don't know if you've searched before, but a lot of the sites that say things are free, they're not free. They're, it's like a bait and switch. Morg file is truly free. There's uh, almost no attribution required. I mean, once in a while, I've come across a photo where the photographer wanted you to just email them and let them know where you used it. Um, maybe, you know, whatever. It's like their own, you know, for their own satisfaction of knowing that somebody is using their um their photos. So what you're not going to find on morg file are pictures of your specific community or a specific uh, uh, like subdivision name or something like that. So you kind of have to broaden how you uh, approach this. So kind of just convey ideas. Um, so if you're talking about, if you're, if you're mentioning in a blog that there's, you know, great schools in the area, you know, Scottsville Unified School District, uh, you know, it's one of the best in the, in the uh, uh, nation, something like that, but you don't have a picture of, you know, that can convey that concept, uh, but you need a picture, um, you know, you might just search through, and they have a, a search as well, by keyword. So this would be, you know, schools. And I found, you know, this picture of these kids and, you know, that's, that's great. It conveys schools, farmer's market, something, again, something to break up the monotony of a bunch of text. Um, you know, you can, there's, it's obviously your choice. I found some nice tomatoes. They look good to me. Um, and they'll, they look good in a blog. So that's how I would convey that. Um, there's, a a recreational lake or you're near the ocean, something like that. And that's, you know, something that you talk about in your blog, you know, just uh, search for um, water or water skiing or water sports, you know, anything like that. Sometimes it takes a while to find it, but it's worth the look, you know, dining. Uh, it's tough. You know, you don't, what you don't want to be doing is using photos out on the web without that are copyrighted. Um, you know, it's, it's getting to be, you know, far more, um, litigious out there. So, you know, if you're taking somebody's photograph and you're not giving them, uh, or rather it doesn't really matter if you even give them credit or not, if it's copyrighted and they don't want people using it elsewhere, you know, you could get yourself into trouble. So, um, this would be, you know, dining, uh, something along those lines. I found this for, you know, uh, Gilbert, the Gil Gilbert riparian reserve, you know, that's, uh, this is some a, an owl picture that might convey that concept and make your uh, blog more interesting. Obviously, if you're talking about something like uh, you know repairs um, and you don't want to use you know that same old tired a picture of a house or you know a symbol of a house, you know you could uh, just kind of get creative in ways to convey that. And again, that's morg file, my very favorite resource on the web of all time. Um, Niche marketing, uh, you know, it's tough out there. We all know that it's tough and getting tougher to rank for uh, key phrases, especially like the top tier key phrases, like say, uh, you know, La Jolla Homes for Sale or um, San Francisco Real Estate. That's got to be off the charts. Something uh, in, along those lines. So, you know, we've always been about the long tail here. We've always been about the niche marketing, topical marketing. So, um, doing that in your blog, your blogging is also, you know, a, a good idea because you're going to have less competition, um, to actually get, you know, uh, some app, some, you know, search engine ranking on something that is more long tail, like, you know, 55 plus communities, 
something like that. So, and of course, you're if you were a, a client of ours, you have uh, one of our websites. You know that you have um, topics that you can direct people directly to, really laser targeting of uh, of their interest. So, um, what I did yesterday was look at some. Uh, niche uh, social networks to see, you know, what is out there. And it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit tougher. You know, everybody, everybody's heard of Facebook, everybody's heard of Google Plus, everybody's heard of Twitter, um, or even LinkedIn. Um, but there are uh, a lot of networks out there that uh, target like specific lifestyle interests. Um, for example, third age is for baby boomers. Um, and this is also a way to learn how to write to your audience. Um, what are their concerns? Um, if you're not, you know, completely familiar, you know, it's sometimes, uh, you know, even if you're uh, a mother, you might search like a, uh, a web, uh, a social network site specifically for moms and, you know, see maybe what some other concerns are that you maybe not, maybe haven't thought about. So um, the baby boomers, uh, just taking a look at there's, you have to do a little bit of searching, but there's a section on, you know, uh, uh, retirement. And that would be an excellent uh, uh, category to research to see, you know, if there's any mention of real estate and what you can uh, capitalize on. Quora is a, um, uh, a website that um, has, it's basically like a question and answer um, website. And there's you, if people that pose any kinds of questions and people that answer any kind of questions. So, um, you can search for real, real estate and compile all of the questions that you think you could answer and make a blog out of that. Um, and that's, you know, very, you know, broad and, uh, you know, can get you more relevance with, uh, you know, your potential readers. Um, there are also uh, networks for, uh, I found networks for golfers and horse enthusiasts. Um, and you can also stock the HOA uh, for local news. Um, they're pretty notorious for not, you know, putting much information um, on there, but, you know, the upcoming events, uh, find out, you know, maybe that's something that you could attend and, you know, certainly, you know, socialize and uh, make uh, friends with, you know, neighbors in the area where you want to market yourself and uh, um, take pictures while you're there. So you got pictures for blogs and, you know, and then blog about it, blog about, you know, what event you attended. Um, so that's, again, you know, giving buyers confidence that you actually know your area, the near area that you're marketing in. So um, some more resources on the web for coming up with uh, content. Um, the newspaper, you know, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, newspapers are dead. And they, yeah, they kind of are. Um, but there are a lot of people out there that still very much enjoy uh, holding a newspaper, you know, sitting at the table in the morning and drinking coffee. So they're still out there and they're an excellent resource for um, local happenings. Um, if it's, if you don't want to get the paper kind, look at them. They're all online now as well. So that's a, a great place to uh, haunt for uh, local happenings. Another idea for content generation is uh, um, just to, you know, go over stories on any kind of uh, uh, problem that you have solved for a customer and somebody who had, you know, sketchy credit and you had a great connection or, um, you know, any, anything along that line, that's something, it's an idea, um, something to blog about, even if you think it's, uh, you know, well, you know, who cares about that? You know, you could write it out, start it and see if it, you know, results in something. Um, truly a voice is, and I only mentioned this, not because I expect you to answer those questions. We've seen those, a lot of people are just self-aggrandizing and, you know, it, uh, answer questions with nonsense of, you know, just shoving their business card in, in there instead of, you know, a actually answering a question. So um, what I think would be really helpful is to go through the questions that people have posed and, um, answer them on your own blog um, and just pose the question. You don't have to say so-and-so asked this question. Just pose the question. A lot of home buyers or a lot of potential home buyers are curious about this. And, you know, here is my take. And you know, this is a great answer. I thought that that was, uh, you know, a lot. There's a lot of opportunity just going through Trulia Voices. You should also blog about um, any participation in uh, uh, industry events 
or your education. Um, there's a lot of certifications that uh, realtors can get. Um, and uh, that would definitely be something not just to put a label on your you know, website or your business card, but actually talk about what that means. Because as I was going through all of the designations available, uh, most of them without reading the description, I have no idea what they mean. Um, so that would be something to go into detail about um, uh, in a blog. Um, any classes, conventions, you know, what did you learn? And this is interesting to your readers because, again, they want to know that they're going to be working with a real estate agent that uh, is knowledgeable about their industry and uh, about servicing their needs. Uh, any participate participation in charity or fundraising, you know, uh, obviously you don't want to, you know, talk about I, 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 uh, with that because it's all about charity and fundraising, but you certainly, you could, um, state that this happened, this went on, this is a great cause. I was there and, um, you know, that's that. Um, and also, you know, something else to think about the reader, not necessarily the topic. Now, topics are great, but sometimes, you know, you could gear it towards uh, a, a specific person, um, you know, si single mothers trying to buy a home, uh, retirees trying to buy a home, um, anybody, uh, you know, new new couples with a young baby um there's all kinds of uh different uh, demographics you can think about to target um and that can really speak to uh that person better than you know any kind of generic kind of blog about homes for sale in okay so now um if you've been Following our webinars recently or any of our blog posts, uh, it's uh, uh, pretty critical that everyone understand that, you know, Google has changed the landscape. I'm not going to go into this in great detail because I've done full webinars on them, but it is important that uh, uh, people need to understand that, you know, Google has changed. So um, in the past, um, us and every Everyone else out there that ever taught anybody how to market for themselves on the web um, has, uh, you know, kind of uh, honed in on um, exact match anchor text. Exact match anchor text uh, in layman's terms is that clickable link in any kind of a post you do um, or a promotion that you do online. That clickable link that has your money keywords, um, our money keywords would be real estate websites or indexable IDX or real estate lead generation. Yours might be Phoenix Homes for Sale or um, Albuquerque Houses for Sale or you know whatever your market is. Um, those would be your money keywords. Now, um, Google has really changed uh, how they look at the entire um, uh, portfolio uh, so to speak, of the links going to a specific site. If it looks like it's manipulated, and you know, most of us, that's what we do. I mean, we have that's how we market. Um, and manipulated means you know you're you're trying to win on that keyword. That's therefore you you know post a hundred posts with that keyword in it. Um, you, it's it's a very bad thing now. Um, so in your marketing efforts, uh, keep your exact your keep your linking text i'll just call it linking text whatever the clickable link is in your uh, uh blog post keep it to uh branding and generic most of the time and just do about 10 percent of the time do your money keywords um i don't recommend you know putting a bunch of links in any blog um unless you're unless it's really critical to get the point across or um, allow people resources um, if you're talking about a zoo or something like that, I would always put my own link, the, the link, the point of the blog, what you're doing. I'd always put that very first, uh, before any other links, um, if I can, um, that, because I, you know, the first link counts the most on a web page. So I would definitely do that. Um, so dynamic page solutions.com, just using the, uh, uh, the, domain name or the actual proper name or my own name. Um, that's the, the linking text that I would typically use, um, you know, moving forward. So I don't get a penalty from, uh, Google for, you know, being obnoxious with my offsite linking. 
So where to post, um, a lot of you know where to post, but I'm just going to go over some of the uh, ups and downs of some of uh, the, you know, most well-known um, Realty Light Post is our very own uh, blog site. Um, it's free. Um, the positives are that it's relevant to real estate. Again, with Google, it's important to uh, uh, get links coming from relevant industry relevant sites. Um, we offer do follow links. It's very easy to use and it's free. And um, it's actually uh, building up quite a bit in its search engine credibility. So I'd recommend it to you know anybody. It's available to anybody, uh, but it's not available to spam. So um, just uh, you know, be sure to you know to, like convey your message um, in a kind of like a broad sense uh, that will be beneficial. You know what we don't want is you know extremely short post with a bunch of links in them. So that it's not good for us. It's not good for you. So we don't allow those. Um, active rain. Everybody knows active rain. It's awesome. Uh, it's relevant to real estate. They have do follow links. Um, it's relatively easy to use and, but it's not free. Uh, but I would say if I were going to pay to blog any place, that would be it. Um, and they have, uh, I'm not sure what their prices are right now, but, um, you know, I have heard in the past that, you know, if you talk to people that you might be able to, uh, get them to come down a little bit on their pricing, depending on if you can pay a year up front or something like that, but it's definitely worth the discussion and I highly recommend active rain, uh, bigger pockets. Uh, again, it's another relevant to real estate. Um, you, uh, People have said, been concerned in the past that it's about investment, but this is easy, you know, uh, especially in markets like Phoenix. We're all about uh, bank owned and foreclosures here. Um, the uh, downside definitely is it's uh, tough to set up. Um, it takes some it takes some work. The links are no follow. And uh, the reason why I still keep this on uh, the list of recommended sites to blog is because they are uh, it, it's still a source of traffic to your site. So, you know, even if the links are no follow, even if, though you're not getting page rank passed to your website, it's still, you know, a relevant place. A lot of people go there concerned about real estate. And, um, if you are, if you get some, you know, traffic, uh, coming from there that someone looking to invest in a foreclosure or a bank owned home, I, absolutely worth it. And it's free. So, um, a greater town is another resource out there. Um, they have a real estate section. Uh, you can, you know, talk about anything that you want. There's, uh, you know, very few guidelines that I'm aware of. It's extremely simple to use. They have do follow links and it is again, free. Uh, WordPress, um, is, you have two choices. You got .com and, um, then .org, um, WordPress.com is extraordinarily simple, um, very easy to set up. Um, you have a do follow link, um, but it is, uh, uh, completely, it's not yours. You don't own it. It's at, it's wordpress.coms. Um, dot, they do offer .org where they give you files and you can host um, the .org um, on, on, you have to have a domain and hosting and you can set it up and you can get as uh, creative as you want to. Um, a, one of the things that I would recommend if you want to, you know, start exploring WordPress is get uh, our IDX Fusion product. And that is basically a bolt-on um, that is going to give you indexable IDX. And uh, that's going to be extremely helpful in gaining traffic um, and uh, getting leads to your site. And, you know, WordPress.org is a lot of fun because you can use, you know, any widget, any plugin and, uh, uh, the only downside is that you do have to build up your own authority, um, uh, search engine authority when you are using .org. And that is, uh, you know, that is a task that you have to tackle. Um, Tumblr is pretty cool. Uh, they have, I've been hearing so much about Tumblr in the last year. Um, I heard of them probably about three years ago. I started, you know, exploring them. Um, and it seems like, you know, with the, uh, with the popularity of Instagram and, you know, everything being visual, um, Tumblr is just, uh, little, you know, bite-sized, uh, niblets of information. People can take it in and it's, again, it's very visual. So if you are interested in, um, taking, uh, photographs or compiling other people's awesome photographs, uh, on Instagram, uh, or Tumblr, I would 
recommend checking that out. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to use. So I'm going to take just a second to see if I've got uh, any uh, questions here. And then I'm going to show you some live examples. Um, I do not have any questions right now, so I'm going to um, move on here and just show you if anyone is uh, interested out there. This is our contact information right before I jump on the web. Um, uh, our salespeople can help you out with any questions that you have. And of course, you know, uh, if you get on Google Plus, again, I highly recommend it. Um, get in our circles. We'll circle you back for sure. Uh, you can follow us at Dynamic PS on Twitter, and uh, you can find us on Facebook as well. So with that, I'm going to escape out of here, and I'm going to go over <clears throat> just a couple of uh, the resources that we talked about uh, earlier on. In the webinar. So, um, oops, okay. All right, so let's take a look at uh, memes. Um, this is the, it's extremely simple to use. You might recognize some of these memes. I'm going to just, you know, uh, go for Willy Wonka. And it's just this simple. I have him up here. It's asking top text. So we're going to say, um, we're just going to say a very simple. And the bottom text is going to be to use. It's really cool. You don't have to create an account or anything. So it's you want to pick uh, English and generate. And I'll show you here in just a second. Hopefully it goes fast. All right. So now I've got my meme. And um, you can, you know, if you want, you can, you know, download it. I just do save image as and um, save it onto my desktop and then I use, I use it, uh, to do, you know, whatever I wish with it. Um, and you can put your own message. Obviously brevity is key because you just don't have, you'll, otherwise you'll cover up the picture and that kind of ruins it. So, um, meme generator is that easy to use and you can start creating all kinds of funny, uh, little pictures to use in your blogging or marketing or whatever you want. Um, I don't take any credit for some of the, uh, uh, there are some, you know, off color things in here. So, you know, it, it's, it's a place where a lot of kids go. So you're going to see a lot of things that you may not appreciate, but you know, it's, again, it's free. It's uh, for everybody to use. So, um, this is, um, easel dot L Y easel -E, And this is the infographic that I showed, um, earlier, um, not the infographic, but a, an example infographic and um, I very simply uh, just picked um, they had a, a couple of different examples and I just want to show you you know how easily you can change this okay what am I going to do with this because this is you know beverages so I'm just going to uh, select that graphic and I'm going to throw it in the trash right here and I'm going to look at objects and I'm going to see what they have here and they have uh, icons and I bet you they have a house. Woohoo! Got a house. Let me drag it down. Some of these aren't totally intuitive, but you know, I'm kind of like learning this right now. So, um, let's see, that's very dark. I want to change that. So I'm going to change the opacity down to there and I'm going to change this. If I click on, click off, click on. All right. So I want to get a hold of that beverages and change that. So I'm not sure position. How can I change that? Um, the types of many. Oh, there we go. No, no. I want to change text. Is it going to let me do it? All right. Maybe I will move this guy for now. There we go. Um, so I want to change the text. And I'm going to change this to houses. And then I'm going to move this guy back over here. And then I can change all of this to make sense to whatever kind of, you know, uh, infogram I want to make to, you know, make my blog interesting. Or even, you know, maybe it could stand uh, by itself as a blog. I don't recommend that just because, you know, it's just a graphic. And, you know, if you're blogging, you're doing it for SEO purposes, probably SEO 
is now the new marketing. So, you know, back and forth. So hopefully you do that as well. So that's just that easy. And I think that when you're done, you can just, you know, uh, let's see, save it. What are my options? Save it or download it or, uh, probably just save it, save it to my desktop and then move on. I don't think I, I didn't even create an account here. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not uh, going to get, you know, emails from them from here to forever. Tumblr. Oh, I got some questions. Let me stop. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let me say, are we supposed to post original content to each of these sites or duplicate content across different sites? Okay. Good question. And I know it's extraordinarily painful, um, for people to, you know, take in the idea of, you know, doing all these different, uh, uh blog posts, but diversity is really critical. Um, and if you, if, if you have diverse, uh, post out there, uh, or rather, um, the same post on diverse sites, that's not really fulfilling diversity. Um, so I do think that, you know, you don't certainly don't have to do, you know, one each week or anything like that, but, um, I definitely recommend, uh, that you, uh, try to do something new and different, um, on these different, uh, these different places. Now, um, uh, everybody, you know, feeds everything into the same kind of machine, you know, everybody posts the same thing on Facebook and Twitter and, you know, their LinkedIn or whatever. So, you know, yeah, people do it. Um, but you know, I would recommend, um, to try, you know, unique things for you for uh, different places. Okay, Tumblr is the last one I'm going to go over. Um, Tumblr is uh, very cool, super super simple to create. Um, you can get uh, very um, very custom. You can do a lot of custom stuff in here. But what I'm going to do just to show you how simple it is, I've already set up. Um, a couple of blogs in here. I've already have an account. So that's the first thing you'd want to establish first is just do account. So I'm going to just create a new blog and see what I can do. So the title is going to be, uh, um, we're going to say, uh, we're going to just call it real estate example. Hopefully somebody else hasn't stolen it. Um, real estate example. And, um, I can password protect this blog, but I have no idea why I would want to do that because only people that can only people that have the password would be able to view it. So I will not do that. So let's see if that's available. Yay. All right. So my blog is there. I it's created. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check out the different uh, things that you can utilize in here. So text, um, my title is going to be, um, I'm going to steal from, from WordPress and say, hello world. Um, this is my test blog site. Okay. And then I'm going to put my link in because it's all about links, right? No, um, not anymore. Not so much about links, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's, I'm hardwired to create links out there. All right. And then I'm going to, uh, put my link URL. And of course this one I know by heart. Um, so I don't need to copy it. Oops. Not so much. WW dynamic page solutions dot com and I'm going to title it appropriately and I'm going to set the target to open a link new window because I don't want people leaving my tumblr all right so I got my link and I create my post to da and then um, I'm going to uh, let's see I don't have any photos on this computer to upload if I had generated that meme and saved it I would um, or my uh, infograph but so just uploading a photo is as simple as you know using everything else that where you upload a photo and put your quote and we'll say um, uh, marketing is good SEO and the source is me and I create the post there. Now I have like an example and, um, my link, my link of course is going to be dynamic page solutions. And I'm going to copy that again. Okay. Create a post. 
All right. And then um, I can uh, upload a video. I can upload a podcast. I can uh, put chat in here and, of course, photos. And I'm going to be doing that, of course, because I'm going to be sh- pushing these out from my Instagram uh, account if I have one. And um, that is kind of it. You know, it's really uh, visual nowadays. Um, using um, all of these re- resources or it's really going to help you build relationships and um, you know kind of you know, also help you learn about you know navigating the web and uh, you know everything that's uh, out there to use now I mean you can also um, you can use a mobile app um, to uh, uh, text updates from an SM- SMS phone number um, or update your Tumblr um, by email. Um, again, use uh, Instagram, kill two birds with one stone post. You can do, you know, um, just, you know, a lot of things. This is called uh, originally microblogging. Um, so, you know, it's not about the long uh, diatribe of, you know, what's to, you know, buy, what's the pros and cons of living in Chandler or anything like that. But, uh, you know, people just do, you know, bite size uh, snippets. Although, uh, you know, uh, we as SEOs always recommend um, uh, quite a bit of content, 600 words. Um, I recommend for, you know, any uh, website pages and, you know, blog posts, you know, they, they're they supposed to be bite-sized. So you can do, you know, I'd say no less than 400, no, no less than 400 words. Um, but that, I have one more question here. Let me check this out. I'll answer it. Oh, what kind of analytics can be pulled from Tumblr? You know, Tumblr, mm, I, I'm not a hundred percent on that. I'd have to check that out. Um, you can just, uh, uh, Google, Google that. You should probably should be able to find that out pretty quickly. Um, Googling it, but you know, they may have, Oh, you know what? I think I did read something the other day. I apologize. I think that they are offering, um, analytics, uh, kind of like a really robust analytics. Uh, but it is a a paid, uh, a paid service. Uh, I am 85% sure on that, but I, you know, I double check it, just, uh, Google Tumblr analytics. And I think that that's how they were trying to monetize Tumblr. So, um, that is, that's what it's going to be. You know, they got to make money somewhere. So it's going to be in your analytics. Um, okay. If uh, there are no other questions, I'm going to just wrap this up and uh, thank everybody very much for attending today. And uh, if you have any follow-up questions, you can always send them to sales at dynamic page solutions.com and they will uh, uh, get back to you or they can, you know, come to me and ask uh ask the question. And uh, this webinar will also be available on our website um, under uh, video training in a few days. So thank you so much for attending and we'll see you next time. Thanks.